You all got this unhealthy obsession with hood men until you fall into the trap like I did. See, one thing about me, I thought my baby daddy was a hood nigga. I thought he had big bands, boom, 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 because he was around all the niggas with money. Whole time, they was smacking him in the back of the neck, telling him, go get some Rellos. Go get some Leafs. Go get some wood. Hmm? You gonna go? I'm just as confused as y'all. I'm all types of confused, man. From And I'm not here to, you know, make fun of my sisters. You know what I'm saying? I, I checked out her TikTok. You know, it seems like she's, uh, you know, she, she throws these wigs on. I don't know if this was premature or if this was comedy. That what she got on now. You know, that shit's not righteous at all. Uh, But to, to her point, you ladies get fascinated with hood guys by all means do your thing it's usually a young girl thing but you do got older women who who may not have who lived a mundane life no excitement that get older sometimes because they were married early on and they want to experience the hood guys i.e my ex-wife but anyway um younger women they tend to be into, the, into this and the reason why a lot of you guys will complain and say she likes the Pookies and the Ray Rays, the guys that don't have much going on, the guys living that fast life, that fast money. It's exciting, man. You got to understand, we talk about this over and over. I don't know what that crime was for it then. Women love to wonder. They love emotional, at, as the bro said on the, on the original video that he commented on, our brother said that it was coming. They love that emotional variety. They love to wonder about, is this guy going to call me? Does he really like me? Is he going to be locked up? Is he going to be shot? Are we going to be in a shootout? He's pushing coke, so on and so forth. But you want every man to be a Scarface? You saying he buying Rellos and uh, Rillos and the, basically the do boy for the other guys. But... You ladies that are young, you get you so impressionable. You have a herd mentality. You're trying to get on this Bonnie and Clyde ride or die, so on and so forth. Have a few, have a few babies, just to live that lifestyle. And when you get older, as we always say, you want to get with a guy who's established, you know. And you think, and you think you can keep putting quarters in the machine, and because all these guys are in the inbox, and the square guy, maybe because you got the fatty and you're looking cute, so on and so forth, you feel like those guys are gonna be around forever. And they're not. Single motherhood, you end up creating the same guy that you had a baby by in the child with your young king. He ends up becoming the next pookie, emotional, so on and so forth. No father or it is. It's multiple guys in and out the picture. He's seeing you firsthand with this same, you know, struggle, C, uh, CNA, or whatever it is you have, you know, struggling, so on and so forth. Not knowing the father in and out the picture, dealing with multiple women. You got multiple siblings as well. And you grow up and you perpetuate the same thing sometimes. So, fellas, once again, you leave women to what their desires are. You leave them to their devices. You leave them to all these things. And you don't complain about it. If that's what they want, that's what they want. I know a lot of you want to reach back and save them, so on and so forth, but so, women, so, women, a lot of times, they just don't want your help, bro. And you can't be mad about that. A lot of you guys get upset and you get on here and talk, she only wants this, she only wants that, she only wants that. Man, let her do her. If that's what she wants, yo, it's not your, it's not your job to save her. It's not your job to change her mind. It's not your job to make her see the quote-unquote good in you. Or how good of a guy you are and why you're a good catch. Either she has that discernment or she doesn't, man. You go take your talents elsewhere to some place where you're appreciated instead of dealing with this foolishness. It's not worth it, bro. It's not worth it, man. So that's my thoughts on it, man. Shout out to this young lady. Hey, I don't know what that was at the end of the video, but you put on quite a show. Hey, do you think, man? It's, it's, uh, man, listen. Let me know what you guys think, man. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Cali and Link Treatable. That one on one with yours truly. Follow me on Instagram. 
make sure you guys subscribe to my backup channel. Purchase all of my books and merch like right now. And with that being said, man, this is wisdom. Peace be upon you all. The mercy and blessings of the almighty. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace. It's God's true beef maker. And I don't know. I will put a light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from God. Blessings we send to the ghetto you.